Hi, I'm DJ Ware. On today's Tech Minutes, we're going to look at the future of operating systems. It's an interesting journey, that's for sure. So your operating system is the silent conductor of your, your digital life. It manages your applications, your files, any of the connections that you make with other computers. So it's not just restricted to making connections with computers. It can make connections with smart home devices, with your phone, with somebody else's phone. But the question is, we all know what it does today. What's going to come next? Just recently, Mark Zuckerberg, of Meta, the CEO of Meta, made a massive uh, announcement. I'm bringing Meta's two AI research efforts closer together to support our long-term goals of building general intelligence, open sourcing it responsibly, and making it available and useful to everyone in all of our daily lives. It's become clearer that the next generation of services requires building full general intelligence, building the best AI assistants, AIs for creators, AIs for businesses, and more, that needs advances in every area of AI, from reasoning to planning to coding to memory and other cognitive abilities. This technology is so important and the opportunities are so great that we should open source and make it as widely available as we responsibly can so that way everyone can benefit. And we're building an absolutely massive amount of infrastructure um, to support this. By the end of this year, we're going to have around 350,000 NVIDIA H100s or around 600,000 H100 equivalents of compute if you include other GPUs. We're currently training Llama 3, and we've got an exciting roadmap of, of future models that we're going to keep training responsibly and safely to. And that was the announcement of purchasing 350,000 plus NVIDIA DGX H100 GPUs. Those are the most powerful chips that have been built. His intention is to supercharge their research into artificial general intelligence by the end of the decade. So I guess we better explain what that is. So you can think of artificial general intelligence or AGI as it's better known. But it's not just a tool, but an intelligence system that can learn, reason, and adapt like a human being. This is a big implica implication for not only your operating system, but also us. So let's look at an, a possible future for operating systems, and that might be one that is anticipating your needs. It might be a calendar application that is suggesting routes based on real-time traffic and reminds you to pack an umbrella based on the weather that's in your, your area. It might alarm. It might learn your sleep patterns and wake you at the perfect moment for your peak energy. Forget your clunky voice assistants. Your operating system could become a silent partner, reading your emotions, adapting to your habits, even anticipating your next move. It wouldn't just follow your commands. It would understand you and would react to your habits, to your patterns, and what you do throughout your day. The future won't be dominated by a single platform. Artificial intelligence could power an ecosystem of intelligent operating systems tailored to your needs, whether it's your phone, your car, your smart home. Yeah, any number of devices. The future of your operating system is more than just software. It's about the deeper connections with technology. It, it is a forged partnership with artificial intelligence that promises to enhance your life in ways that we, we can only begin to imagine. The question is, that is the future that Companies that are working in artificial general intelligence are working towards. That's what they want. The question is, what do we want? To me, it seems like the call to action here is 
is to proceed cautiously, slowly, if, if we really want to go down this path, and I think that's a big mistake. Artificial general intelligence could lead to machines that design themselves. They could be things that, as the machine learns, it may not share your morals or your values. I don't mind using AI. I don't mind it being a servant to my needs, but I certainly don't want to become a servant to its needs. I think this is one of the decisions that we need to make as a, as a community of human beings. The choices that we make now may avert disaster later. If we allow this technology to come upon us unbridled, then it may be too late at some point to turn it off. <laughs> Let me leave you with that dystopian future. And I thank you for watching today.